I've researched you. We have researched you. You've never been a friend to the government. They've used you. And I imagine you have found out already that no amount of money allows you to pass through the steel sheets that separate class from class. Yes. Those bastards. Those bastards! Are worse than us! Yes, that I have learnt. Turns out I know someone who used to know you very well. I once believed. And after she died, you went away to war. Kitty said that the sweet boy who left never came back. But the war changed you. No one came back. Men who blew the whistles in France are our enemy. Do you recognize the boy in the photograph? And you count yourself among those who want a real fight. I do. And they will never admit us to their palaces. We will stand united! No matter how legitimate we become, because of who we are, and you're not alone. I am not alone. Let's have a show of hands from all those who fought in France. We are the people, and we have had enough. Raise your hands. My name's Mosley, by the way, Oswald. She said in those days you believed in things, in justice, fairness. The blood shed on Flanders' fields, the sweat of your brows. She swears before you enlisted in the army, you joined the Communist Party yourself. These people say they are the future. And let me just say, we've come to my attention. You and I, and men like him, we will shape the future. The British Union of Fascists will be born on January the 1st of next year. Not just socialism. I will have need of men like you. I have known that the change is coming. But a new breed of national socialism. And Mr. Shelby will be with me, shoulder to shoulder. Except, of course, there is no other man like you. The rise to the top. Mr. Thomas Shelby. Mr. Thomas Shelby. You, in particular, I need. It's probably the same chance to arrive. Your cause is now my cause. Which direction are you heading, Mr. Shelby? I want to help. Are you serious? It's the revolution. The revolution. revolution. I am my own revolution. You are forming an alliance with a fascist. So, I made some inquiries amongst the worst people in Whitehall, and I found out that you are not forming an alliance with him at all. Even if it fails today, if I get Jesse Eden's trust, some one of them may succeed. She gives me the names of the instigators. Did you ever consider the possibility Paris Judah. that the communists might win? Paris Judah. And you're offering to help ensure they never succeed. Who's going to kill an MP? Barney Thomas. Possibly the future Prime Minister of Great Britain. Going to kill Oswald Mosley. We are the people. I can begin to. We've had enough. Shape the movement. And undermine it. And how is Tommy Shelby, OBE, going to stop a revolution? I'm going to shoot Oswald Mosley. Where will you be, Tom? While he's on stage. While I'm stood next to him, I'll be down on one knee, cradling his head while the laugh drains from him. Fuck your fucking revolution! Do you have a whistle? Do you hear that, boys? If so, blow it. The same whistles they used to blow to send us over the top, they now blow to try and break us up. And then I will take over as leader of the party, and I'll make a speech saying how the cause he died for must continue. When I hear that man Mosley speak, enemies, we can number Mr. Winston Churchill. What can you say from my hands? That beast. I bet he's just a beast. I see the green shoots of another wall growing up around his feet. Are you going to shoot him because this man is evil? You see exactly the same thing I do. It's like a horse. It's the rider that decides what direction it takes. And who will be the rider? <laughs>